All right, so hey guys, uh, today for this video, I was hoping to do a quick review on the new exotics since 2.0 came out and just tell you which ones are beneficial for PvE, PvP, and overall which ones are good for the subclass specifics. And okay, so to kick things off, I'm going to start off by interviewing the RAM. Now, the RAM has had many controversy throughout uh, Destiny just due to the fact that it allows a Warlock to have as much uh, armor and defense as a Titan Defender would and overall that's why many PvP games have not allowed it like if you're running usually in a fire team they'll say like they'd rather you not have it just due to the fact that some people are considering cheating but I mean I don't know for me it's it, it's a good it's one of the best PvP elements for Warlock just due to the fact that the increased armor is on all your subclasses and it's not like uh like s subclass specific like the graviton forfeit or the um those titan ones i can't remember the titan gauntlets but uh overall for me as the perfect generalized exotic this the ram is the perfect one like you can use it on everything and i use it when i use self-res just due to the fact that you're you're, you're not squishy like i mean you can take damage from almost anything and survive uh, survive a lot more like I mean it's not that noticeable like back in year one I believe you could survive another thorn headshot like I think it was before thorn was a two shot kill to the head two or three shot kill and this would allow you to survive a th uh, another headshot potentially so in year one it was good but um in year two uh, they they nerfed the defense on it by I think two percent it's still it's still relative, like, it's still an amazing helmet, and that's what I use in trials and in everything, um, but, uh, yeah, it's a good general, general exotic for everything, especially since now, Sun Singers, their exotics, they don't have any, to me, I would, they don't have anything good, um, any decent specialization, uh, armor for them, uh, so I just use the RAM, if not, uh, another one that I would recommend for Sun, Sun Singer, since we're starting off with Sun Singer, would be the Claws of Ahamkara. Now, a lot of people haven't liked these in the past, just due to the fact that um, just due to the fact that the additional melee charge doesn't really aid much. But now in year two, if you run Stormcaller with uh, the increased range, uh, what's it called? Yeah, amplitude. It's these are really really good. Like you can get a guy from from easily like. 10 meters i mean it's it's they're really really good like that's I, I there's no other way of describing them they're just they're amazing like in year two they they actually pack a punch and even sir for sunbreakers and no oh, fuck i don't know why i keep saying sunbreakers for sun singers um the additional uh overshield that you get on melee is really good especially if you're running a shotgun as you can melee shotgun and if they shotgun you back usually you won't die since you'll have the overshield so you'll still have a bit of health left and and it really, really puts them up there. Out of 10, I'd have to give these maybe a, a 7 or an 8. They wouldn't be up there because you still have the, you still have the, you have the uh, melee cooldown. And if you have no, no melees, as if you use both of them right off the bat, you lose both your melees right away. And you'd have to wait until, like, you get another melee. So it puts you back in the original position that you were. But for, for, uh, for PvP and maybe even PvE, I would recommend these. Um... Are they the best for Sun Singers? Uh, it depends on your on your the situation you're in, but uh, yeah, out of ten overall, maybe yeah, a good seven seven point five to eight. I would give these. Plus, I mean, they look pretty badass. Like, who doesn't want claws in your on your character? Uh, next up, let's go. Um, let's let's interview the stag. Okay, so the stag for starters is to me. Personally, I find this exotic is one of the most useless exotics in year two ever. Like, I've literally never actually seen the do or the do or die perk active. I don't know what the cooldown is for for your super charging faster. And I don't even understand how this works. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it once you die, you can get rest. And then that one life that you get, for instance... I believe you will get a faster super and the chance to respawn with an overshield i'm kind of confused as to how that works mostly due to the fact that in pvp don't you already respawn with an overshield like it seems kind of pointless to me personally and i mean pvp wise this is close to useless like i mean 
You're supercharging faster. Okay, I can see how that would work in trials if you get rezzed, if you die. But usually the matches don't even last longer than two minutes. So even if it does boost your super by a little bit, it'll give you an extra, like, three seconds on it, if not even, like... I don't know. This this exotic to me is completely pointless. Like, I'd, I'd much rather use the ram and have the increased defense than use this that has a possibility of boosting my super once per life, as well as a possibility... Of giving me an overshield when I res, which is already something that happens anyways when I get respawned, when I get res by my teammates. So personally, I think this is useless. Like I don't even want to rate this out of ten. It's most people use it for the looks. Like I've seen many people running King's Fall, and whenever I ask them how it how it fares with them, they tell me that they just use it for its overall appearance. Because I mean, you look like a deer. Like who doesn't want to look like a deer? You look amazing. But I don't know. For me, the ram, the stag is really. I don't know, it's uh, it's useless chance to spawn with an overshield once per life. Again, yeah, it, I mean, look at me, I look I look pretty cool, I'll be honest, I look pretty cool. Like, I'm not going to lie, especially with the dead orbit trader, I look amazing, but who am I kidding? Like, I'm not going to use this in PvP, it's, it's, it's close to pointless, like, I mean, it's useless in any situation whatsoever. So, yeah, the stag, I'll, I'll rate it out of 5, I'll give it, like, I don't even know, like a four, maybe, because it looks good. Like, I, and I mean, it's good in situations. Maybe if you're running a strike or something where you can respawn. But even then, if you're not used to dying a lot, then you're not even getting a benefit off this exotic. I, I, I don't even know. This exotic is so controversial. I'm not even gonna. Next up for storm callers. Now these, these are the shit. These are, these are good. Like I mean. Again, I don't want to say, like, they're amazing or, like, they're the best exotics out there. Because you guys want to hear the truth, obviously. So, being 100% truthful, these are... They're good. They're good. They're... Like, okay, let's get into the perk. The main perk of it is land, uh, Lightning Rod. Sorry. And it allows you to have the Landfall perk unlocked on your Stormcaller... No, the Landfall node unlocked on your Stormcaller subclass. For free. And it overall... Me personally, I, I I rarely run Stormcaller. I mean, I've I got the tree maxed out, and Landfall is over here. But uh, personally, I I use these when I whenever I run Stormcaller, I use these for sure. These are the go-to gauntlets for everything. Cause the Landfall for me, it never seems to work. I don't know why. Even when I have the gauntlets on, I I don't know if it, I'm just terrible with uh, Storm Trance or whatever. But me, whenever I always run these with Ion, um Ionic Blink. Ionic Blink is literally the perfect thing to have i used to run um superconductor just due to the fact that i mean who doesn't want double lightning chaining cap capabilities like i mean it's perfect which is what you would think but ionic blink you can literally take out i've taken out a self res a, um a sunbreaker and a blade dancer all in within like two seconds of each other with ionic blink because you're blinking so much that they can't even keep track of you like the titan hammer he can't he can't hit you if you use ionic blink correctly you will not ne you will not die at all like if you can use it to the max capability which of course takes a bit of practice but eventually you'll catch on to it it's perfect ionic blink is is the thing to have so usually i would run i would run the i would run the impossible machines with uh, ionic blink active just due to landfall you can always jump over someone's head activate your super kill whoever's underneath you and then blink around the map in like less than three seconds get from one side of the map to the other and just take out whoever's on the other side like it's literally that's like my perfect storm trance subclass whenever i rarely use storm trance and again these are these are kind of like the graviton forfeit and those uh i don't i'm having a a mind fart i can't remember what those uh sun, what those titan gloves are the ones that look like you have bullets on your arm or whatever that give you uh pyre i think fire pyre for free yeah uh those ones that unlock nodes are good if you don't if you don't have any other nodes there like if you if you wouldn't use ionic blink or superconductor then uh then these would be good for you because no then uh shit um if you if you do run superconductor and uh ionic blink then these would be good for you because you get landfall for free which i mean is a good it's always good to have an extra node unlocked um but again, these are these are really situational. Like for me, if you're just if you're in like a secluded spot and you pop your super, you're not making any use of landfall. Like it's literally made so you jump over someone, 
Or when you have people around you and you, you pop your super right there and then and it kills whatever around you. It's like a mini Fist of Havoc. And it's good. Plus, I mean, who doesn't want the other nodes to be unlocked? Like, such as Superconductor or Ionic Blink again. I'm, I'm dragging on right now, but just bear with me. And these are really, yeah, these are really good for if you're that kind of player. If you're that kind of player who kind of, like, gets to go in a safe spot and then pop your super there and then kill people, then I wouldn't recommend Impossible Machines. And again, go with something like the RAM that's general and that'll give you just a bit more... A bit more you know a little bit more toughness so you can actually like tank tank those other groups when you go in there and kill them overall mm, mm, i don't want to give it a i don't want to give it a seven or an eight just due to the fact that i gave the i gave uh the stag a seven or an eight so i don't know 6.5 maybe seven and then the ram would have to be an eight now that i'm rethinking it but uh, yeah, a good, a good seven, a good seven. If you're that kind of player that wants to just rush into battle, smash the ground, kill everyone around you, and then keep going even further and wiping out those more enemies with your ionic blink, just blinking there, or even the superconductor, if you, if you see a good group and you want to kill that group really fast and uh, be done with them quick, then these are good for you. These are, these are amazing. Like, they're not amazing, but they're, they're up there. They're pretty good. So yeah, a good... I'd have to give these a good, uh, yeah, good seven. Seven, would be, seven suits it. Yeah. Next up are the nothing manacles. Now mine aren't upgraded. I bought these from Zer. I think a week ago. I think they were on sale from Zer. A oh, scatter charge. Ooh, these are the mini Galahorn, as they're called. And I'm not sure how these gauntlets work. Personally, I've I've used these maybe once or twice in PvP. Maybe like in a good in a good um in a good mayhem rumble mayhem clash mode these would be good just due to the fact you get grenades super fast and you can just like like if you have max um max discipline then you can really you can if you have yeah I'm pretty sure so, yeah if you have max if you have max discipline you could just spam those for like 20 minutes like just the whole match you could just keep throwing them and with the with the tracking that they have they'll they'll track enemies like crazy these things i believe they received a buff back in year 1 i'm not sure how they've transferred over to year 2 but uh, back in year one, I've seen, I've saw a lot of these, especially if you run Nova Bomb, especially if you run Voidwalker personally. Again, I'm being super biased, but I'd much rather run the Ram than these. I mean, the Scatter Grenades, they're only good if you run these gauntlets with them. And even then, they only take out, I think, half to three quarters of a, a person's health, much like the Skip Grenades from the Hunter um, Blade Dancer. So, I mean, they're not guaranteed to kill anyone. I'd... I, I don't even know like the ram i'm being super biased and I, I hate myself right now but the ram is literally it's much better choice i mean again it's how your play style is i much prefer the ram because i mean it's pretty good for all types of occasion and on top of that you get the um you get the life drain for free on the, when using the ram so you can replace that melee with something else that you'd much rather prefer but this is about the ram these are about the nothing manacles and you know, it's. I don't. Know, I still have to try these for year two. Year one, they were they were decent. They were maybe a good six out of ten. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they buffed them in the year two update or in the December update. I don't know. Okay, I I'm telling you guys. I know it's stupid that I'm making this video if I if I don't have any clue of the year two things, but I figured I might as well show you guys what I think would be good for. So yeah, for these, I'd much rather. If if I was in your position, I would much rather use the the vortex grenade. No, not the vortex grenade. The what are they called? Those grenades that I'm pretty sure it's a vortex grenade. Axion bolt. I, I see. I have scatter grenade on me because I was using the I was using the nothing manacles when I was using my uh, on my warlock. But yeah, they they're basically the trackers. Instead of just throwing them on the ground and they cover an area, they will track them. Like a Galahorn, essentially. They will track them very, very, very well. Like, they could go around corners, they can go around anything they want, and they will track them for a good, I'd say maybe 15 to 20 seconds. If, if, the, person, if the person has managed to, like, if you have Blink, of course, you will get away farther and faster. But if, they're, if their agility is slow and they're using the everyday double jump, maybe with extended, extended um, additional boost to um, speed on, when you jump, a good 15 to 20 seconds where they will track them i i will guarantee that and yeah and you gain an additional one again 
is this amazing? Is it God tier? Is it um, is it the